Howdy y'all on Star Rider here. I've had questions about how the trailer I have here is raised and I'm gonna show you that today. So y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Well guys, I'm glad you stuck around. Okay, I would like to get linear actuators on this and have waterproof ones that are installed at each of these corners to lift up this trailer. Now the lid weighs about 200 pounds. This is what the pulley has been doing to the side of this. And like I said, I would like an actuator on here that raises this up to 30 inches. There are a total of 20 pulleys that I have that are lifted by a winch on a steel cable system. It took me about, I don't know, probably up to 20 different uh, YouTube videos and research on the internet on how to arrange these things and it's it's been a uh, it's an interesting thing how I got it figured out and it's working now what I plan to do when I was going to uh, lift this trailer was use linear actuators which would have been a whole lot uh, easier to set up and and but it it cost a whole lot more money to do. So I ended up doing the cable system. Uh, comp the cable system probably cost me about $150 total. And the linear actuators would cost anywhere from $600 up to a thousand, depending on which I got and stuff. And I was really wanting some uh, waterproof ones so I could mount them on the outside. But went the other route. I have four pulleys on each corner under the trailer. I have four pulleys on the inside of the trailer, just under the lid. And then the rest of the pulleys are down below, um, which are, which are raised and lowered with the, uh, electric winch. When I first started this, it was a, a hand winch like you have on a boat trailer. And it didn't cost that much more to put an electric one. So after a year, I put an electric one on here. Well, that is the uh, pulley system that raises and lowers this trailer. Well, it's gonna, it's getting, trucks. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to uh, either replace the pulleys or do something with this because it's becoming uh, a little wear and tear on this. So uh, if I happen to uh, find a uh, company that can donate some or actually uh, give me a really, really good discount, then I'll replace it with actuators. Otherwise, <laughs> it's, it's going to be pulley and cables. And I hate working with that steel cable. Man, that stuff sticks to you everywhere. Ouch. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment. Catch you on the road. I happen to be here in Navasota, Texas.